We start with the substitution minus cos x plus sin x is equal to t. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get sin x plus cos x dx is equal to dt. Taking the square of minus cos x plus sin x is equal to t. The left hand side we get cos square x plus sin square x minus 2 sin x cos x. And the right hand side is equal to t square. This implies that 1 minus 2 sin x cos x is equal to t square. In other words, sin 2x is equal to 1 minus t square. Also when x is equal to 0, the lower limit of integration, t is equal to minus cos 0 plus sin 0 which is equal to minus 1. Similarly when x is equal to pi upon 4 which is the upper limit of integration, t is equal to minus cos pi upon 4 plus sin pi upon 4 which is equal to minus 1 upon root 2 plus 1 upon root 2 which is equal to 0. Therefore, the given integral 0 to pi upon 4 sin x plus cos x dx upon 9 plus 16 sin 2x can be expressed as integral minus 1 to 0 dt divided by 9 plus 16 times 1 minus t square. This is equal to integral minus 1 to 0 dt upon 25 minus 16 t square. Taking 16 common in the denominator, this integral can be written as 1 upon 16 times integral minus 1 to 0 dt upon 5 upon 4 whole square minus t square. This can be rewritten as 1 upon 16 integral minus 1 to 0 dt upon 5 upon 4 minus t times 5 upon 4 plus t. This is equal to 1 upon 16 integral minus 1 to 0 1 upon 5 upon 4 plus t plus 1 upon 5 upon 4 minus t this in brackets multiplied by 1 upon 2 times 5 upon 4 dt. This is equal to 1 upon 16 times 2 upon 5 times integral minus 1 to 0, 1 upon 5 upon 4 plus t plus 1 upon 5 upon 4 minus t dt. This simplifies to 1 upon 40 times in brackets ln of 5 upon 4 plus t minus ln of 5 upon 4 minus t, the limits being minus 1 and 0. This is equal to 1 upon 40 times ln of 5 upon 4 plus t divided by 5 upon 4 minus t with the limits of t being minus 1 and 0. Putting in the limits we get 1 upon 40 times in brackets ln of 5 upon 4 divided by 5 upon 4 minus ln of 5 upon 4 minus 1 divided by 5 upon 4 plus 1. This is equal to 1 upon 40 times ln of 1 minus ln of 1 upon 4 divided by 9 upon 4. ln of 1 is equal to 0 and therefore the value of the integral is equal to minus 1 upon 40 ln of 1 upon 9. Using properties of logarithms this simplifies to minus 2 divided by minus 40 of ln 3 which is equal to 1 upon 20 times ln 3 which is the value of the given integral.